Obama pops up in Germany for G20 acting like the president with what he just did to screw Trump. In the middle of President Donald Trump is doing a masterful job in Germany today meeting with world leaders and forging deals to make America great again, his predecessor went into total meltdown. Barack Obama can't handle passing his coveted power over to a capable person who's for America, so he decided to try to take over and do his hardest to derail Trump at the G20 summit with the disgusting thing he did behind his back when he showed up unexpectedly in Hamburg. Obama has been obsessed with relinquishing the power from Trump that he enjoyed as president for two terms too long. He's so vindictive that he simply does things to screw with Donald Trump and make his job hard as we saw on our president's first overseas trip and now again on his second one where Obama appears to have stepped up his juvenile game. It's bad enough that the Obamas take endless vacations with an army of protection surrounding them at all times that's paid for by the American people. But Barack has now added insult to that injury. Instead of keeping to himself on his ongoing Indonesian vacation and allowing the American people the opportunity to forget him, he just insulted the nation he formerly led for eight years by going on a destructive apology tour while Trump is standing up for the U.S. at the G20 summit, which the Obamas never did. If that wasn't disgusting enough, what else he did behind Donald and Melania's backs is a truly foul move. It's no secret that Obama loves to protect the so-called religion of peace which aims to destroy Western life as we know it. He used part of his vacation to perpetuate his apology to Muslims for the way Americans see them, during a disgusting speech he gave in Jakarta about religious tolerance. Completely overlooking the fact that Jakarta's Christian governor Basuki Jahaja Purnima was recently imprisoned by Islamic forces who accused him of blasphemy. Obama had the audacity to criticize the United States for our supposed religious injustice in the midst of actual injustice in the very place he was delivering his stinging remarks. Obama called on the world to confront discrimination against people based on race or ethnicity or religion, so long as it only protected followers of Islam, not Christianity. If we don't stand up for tolerance and moderation and respect for others, if we begin to doubt ourselves and all that we have accomplished, then much of the progress that we have made will not continue," Obama said. What we will see is more and more people arguing against democracy, we will see more and more people who are looking to restrict freedom of the press, and we'll see more intolerance, more tribal divisions, more ethnic divisions, and religious divisions, and more violence. While his words sound like he's pushing something positive, his apology about America's actions suggested the complete opposite. The world is at a crossroads, he said. According to The Hill, the former president spoke against pursuing national interests to the detriment of the international community. The implication that President Trump was doing exactly such a thing was made explicit when Obama criticized the temporary absence of American leadership on climate change while riffing on nationalism, conservative report reported. We start seeing a rise in sectarian politics. We start seeing a rise in an aggressive kind of nationalism, we start seeing both in developed and developing countries an increased resentment about minority groups and the bad treatment of people who don't look like us or practice the same faith as us," Obama said. After these insulting remarks made about not just our president, but Jakarta's governor as well, Obama doubled down on his resentful reaction to Trump being president with what he did to him in Germany ahead of G20. It was reported on Thursday that the first couple couldn't find luxury accommodations in Hamburg and now it's come out that this was likely the work of Obama to try to deter the president from a successful trip. Young Conservatives reports Donald Trump is in Hamburg, Germany for the G20 summit and apparently he wasn't able to get a hotel room at one of the top five-star hotels. The media has been joking around about how dumb Trump is but, as usual, they are leaving out a key piece of information. The hotels were already booked on election day. Which means, it was up to Obama to make sure that the next president was set up. While he will likely make it sound like a simple oversight, it was probably an intentional move since Barack Obama has proven to not be above these childish punishments to his replacement. It would have been the right things to do for the current administration to make sure everything was in place for their replacement. 
but details like that were not important to Obama when he found out Trump was taking office and not Hillary Clinton. The White House is blaming the Obama administration for leaving President Donald Trump without a proper hotel during this week's G20 summit, Daily Mail reports. Every top-shelf lodging was already booked by the time the Trump White House began making inquiries, but that, two White House officials say, is because their predecessors never booked rooms for an American delegation. The funny thing, a second Trump White House official said Friday, is that the U.S. delegation probably also wouldn't have had hotel rooms if Hillary Clinton had become president. It was already too late by Election Day. Trump still defeated Obama's best efforts and found room at the end because he has more pull overseas than his predecessor. However, that didn't stop the mainstream media from slandering Trump on this by saying he wasn't prepared.